The hip is one of the most commonly replaced joints. The problem occurs when arthritis or trauma causes joint cartilage to wear away, resulting in painful bone-on-bone -bone rubbing. Symptoms include pain and joint stiffness and lack of mobility. Surgery, called hip arthroplasty or hip replacement, is recommended when non-surgical treatments fail. Hip replacement replaces the damaged portion of the hip with artificial implants. These devices allow for pain-free movement and mobility. Prior to surgery, you may be required to donate your own blood for transfusion. This is usually done several weeks before the operation. Let's take a look at hip replacement surgery. To begin, the surgeon will make an incision to access the joint. The hip joint is then opened to allow the surgeon to remove the damaged bone and cartilage. The head of the thigh bone is removed, which allows the surgeon to see the hip socket. Damaged cartilage and bone is removed from the socket. The implant is placed and may or may not be secured with surgical screws. The second implant is placed into the thigh bone and may or may not be secured with surgical cement. The artificial ball of the hip is then secured on top of the implant. The wound is then closed and a sterile dressing is applied. The artificial joint restores pain-free mobility. Following your surgery, you may use a V-shaped pillow between your legs while you sleep to position your hip while it heals. Your hip movement will be restricted at first to prevent your artificial joint from dislocating. During this time, you should refrain from crossing your legs, bending your hips at more than a 90 degree angle, or pointing your feet inward or outward. Physical therapists will help you exercise to strengthen your hip. At first, you will need to use a walker, cane, or crutches. You should be able to resume light activities soon after your procedure. Total healing can take from three to four months. Recovery from hip replacement is individualized. Your doctor will let you know what to expect.